The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, hey, it's good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Run Emily. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We would not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark good morning i'm nico dehan welcome to living a primal lifestyle where we explore a return to a more balanced natural wild world so we can recover our natural health our our uh rights and our freedoms too and i'm paige clark that's right paige and it's a beautiful morning in downtown clearwater 59 degrees going up to probably 80 today so spring uh, has spring sprung, sprung and i have a little bit of that fever myself do you spring fever yeah i oh. feel it i like fever i do too yeah, yeah. i see the pollen coming out and <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> but, is uh, definitely out the truth but it Snibbles. is nice yeah. If you have any questions, uh, anything we're discussing, any suggestions for the show, please let us know. Uh, you can reach me at Nico at TFNN.com. And me at Paige at TFNN.com. And we're also taking your phone calls. Uh, if you want to join the conversation, 877-927-6648. Uh, how was your weekend? Well, it was pretty good. It was yeah? pretty good. I, uh, Considering I caught a little bit of a something or another, but it's really weird. You know how you and I are always talking about the innate healing wisdom of yeah. our body? Mm -hmm. So something happened. I ate something, maybe babysitting my grandbaby. You know, they're mm -hmm. exposed to things, and yeah. that's good. Um, but I ended up, you know, in the bathroom a little bit talking to that white oh, bull, really? you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I really kind of sick with my, to my stomach. And um, it was really strange when I got this feeling of pressure in my head. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I heard someone coming down the stairs. And it was actually my own blood, you know, pumping pu away. Pumping away. Wow. And I had felt really congested in my head. And ever since then, I feel clear. Huh. So isn't it amazing? Sometimes when the body's releasing things it no longer needs, it takes care of other things. It was very funny because my ears swelled up like Dumbo's. I mean, my ears were real full. And I thought, you know, I'm always trying to intuit what's going on yeah so I think what happened is is that it flushed new capillary blood into places where it hadn't really been flowing as well mm -hmm. in other words the ears kind of swelled up because yeah. there was good blood circulation there well, it's also the big pollen I mean uh, you know we, we got right into the oak pollen and we have about six or seven different species of oak yes yeah, so it's, it's quite all, it's and, all over the cars yeah and it's almost like every week there's a new pollen that comes out from a different oak type, kind of oak tree mm -hmm. a lot of people susceptible to this and i i can feel the difference too yeah well so. see what's unusual is usually i feel horrible about mm -hmm. it and yet because of that other cleansing reaction mm -hmm. that my body did because we believe the body heals itself i think so and um I feel really good this week. Cool. So. <laughs> well, I wanted to talk about vegetable oils because I saw this uh, article that uh, says, uh, is vegetable oil bad for you? The shocking truth. Uh, many people assume that seed oils are created by applying pressure on the seeds and collecting oil as it oozes out. This is very far from what, it, what really happens. In order to create oil from seeds and vegetables, manufacturers must use strong chemicals to produce the oil. They then must deodorize and alter the oil to create a product that is eventually uh, included in many of the prepackaged foods, including salad dressing and sweets. You know, Nico, this is really something. I saw a wonderful video. I hope I can find it. If I do, I think we should share it with our newsletter subscribers. Okay. It's a great video that kind of showed that myth. You know, people visualize these people going back to Greece and hand pressing. It's just on a stone platter. It's just not that true. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's right. not yeah. exactly what's happening. And um, Well, of course, we have two different products. One is the seed oils, mm -hmm. and some of the seed oils, like sesame seed oil, has been used for thousands of years. Pretty good product if it's done in the right uh, Yeah. Hundreds way. of years ago, years. they were doing it right, yeah. but now industry has copied what was once an artesian process Yes. and taken the art out of it. Yeah. Then the other oil is really what they call vegetable oils, which aren't really vegetables at all. They do come from vegetations, but they really come from uh, corn, 
from cotton soy, seed. Mm -hmm. from cotton seed, something we don't, I don't think we eat cotton, well, we wear it. Well, many of these were originally industrial oils, as we know, with yeah. the canola oil, Canadian oil company, right, meant the for rap manufacturing. Seed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So these are the real problem oils, and these are... And they're GMO, most of them. Yeah, a lot of them are too, and that's mm -hmm. part of this. The danger is the chemicals used to create oil and uh, vegetable and seed oils. These vegetables are not natural food sources for the human body, so our system struggles to process the oil after consumption. One of the most common chemicals is the hexane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hexane is uh, really detrimental to the body. And, you know, there's dangerous fat content, folks. And, you know, it's ironic that many of these heavily processed seed oils are used to make a variety of health foods because they're rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids, or PUFAs. Yeah. And, you know, there's a small fraction of uh, uh, PUFA, <laughs> polyunsaturated fatty acids, that we need, such as the DHA, for healthy brain. I believe that we do need to get it through our food or through conscious supplementation. Yeah, but these are much different because they are really high in the omega-6s, which are inflammatory. Or they're in, in forms that rancidify very easily, right. and that's what we have to be careful of, yeah. is the rancidity. It's ironic that many highly produced seed oils are used in a variety of healthy foods because these oils are rich in polyunsaturates. That's what you just said. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, vegetable and seed oils are usually rich in the fatty acids, what I just said. So when these fatty acids just build up in their system, they contribute to the inflammation. And this is not inflammation. Because of the ratios off. That, exactly. It's a, we talked about that last week. Yeah, one to one is a normal. Three to one is in, still in the normal range. But when you go to these seed oils, it's 50 to one all the way up to maybe 30 to one and that's the real problem they just add more of those omega-6s in there which is something what we need but not in the rancid form and certainly not in that quantity sure I mean one of the foods uh, stuffs that we see a lot of omega-6 folks is processed salad dressings so I have a lot of my clients that are adopting a uh, you know, perhaps a vegan or vegetarian diet, but they're completely Immersed inflamed in the soil, because yeah. they're t they're eating a lot of salads. I love it. They're doing making some good choice there. Yeah. However, uh, they're using these toxic salad dressings. So if you're going to you know work to make some salad dressings that are healthy, maybe even you know processed oil free. Yeah. Uh, you know, use some watered down avocado. The actually avocado itself, yeah. where you get the fiber and everything. Yeah. Lemon juice and a little bit of vinegar, maybe yeah. a little stevia to cut the tartness. Yeah. So I really believe that this uh, switching of oils, which happened in the 1920s to maybe the 1950s, the war years, uh, when they started using these and starting and putting them in our just our food supply. You know, first they introduced them just as margarines and Crisco and things like that. But then they started putting it in all the processed foods. And, and we started having shelves of processed packaged box and right. bag candy. And that's the real thing that we, uh, our, our clients really need to know about is that this is highly processed. You shouldn't be eating any of this, and it's in so many things. So that's why we always stress, you know, you eat real food. Don't eat packaged food. Because that's what a primal diet is all about, folks. Yeah. We don't like to be packaged into... Uh, one description of a diet. The truth is the diet that's best for you, you and I talked about yeah. it before the show, mm -hmm. the diet is the diet that you can digest and that may be different for each of you but w one thing that none of us can digest is dead packaged processed food. That's so right. live a primal lifestyle here with us. That's right. The number here is 877-927-6648. Please pick up our Primal Edge Daily Supplement. Take a look at that. See if it's something that you might want. It's something that uh, we really encourage our uh, listeners to uh, get involved in. And of course we have our Health Signals newsletter that is twice a month uh, and the one that's coming out next week so uh, please do that we'll be right back. you know what's cool taking something that's good for you something specifically formulated to help with weight loss better sleep stress reduction and the need to detox nico our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment but today our food sources no longer contain the vitamins minerals and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong that's why we need primal edge daily nutrition it includes a special blend of ionic soil-based vitamins minerals fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form primal edge is powered by high concentrated fulvic and humic acids nature's preferred delivery system they have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight air and water life cannot exist without them that's right Paige they ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive we, we take, take it, it every morning, morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back. I'm Paige Clark with Nico DeHaan. We're living a primal lifestyle, and we want to help you do the same. We've been talking a little bit about the dangers of vegetable oils. Yeah, on the Telestrator, here's a little, uh, this is the name of the article here. And, uh, you know, we've been talking that, uh, and this is, we've been stressing this over and over again, and I think it's really important for people to understand, because if you want to be healthy, you've got to get the fats in that are really good for you. In and, the right form. In the right form, and you can't go on using these products that actually slowly kill you. That's exactly right. And you know, uh, we got a letter from one of our regular listeners, uh, Alan House, who said, boy, he would love to hear us do a chat between uh, Dr. Greger and um, and Mark say Sisson. Mark Sisson, you know, basically. Well, Gregor is the ve vegan. Yes. And Mark Sisson is on the paleo diet. Right. Paleo diet. And yeah. I sort of submit that somewhere in the truth therein lies because what we've got is a proof that it's really these processed foods. I believe you can thrive at either end of those spectrums, given that you understand that it's these processed oils and seeds and processed things that the animals are eating that may be creating all this. But it's true. Increased risk of disease and illness, Nico. There have been many scientific studies that indicate that these processed seed oils um, increase your risk of developing the following medical conditions, diabetes, heart disease, breast cancer, prostate cancer. Those Folks, are what are we seeing in this country? That's, We're seeing epidemics of these. Yeah. I think if you just change your oil, like you always say. Make an oil change. Make an oil change and just do away with these bad oils and get in some good ones. And you don't have to flood yourself with this stuff because they're high in calories. They absorb very quickly. So, you, you know, when we talk about being on a high-fat diet, there's not a lot of quantity in that. And you and I quality. were just talking about that. Yeah. You know, if you want some olive oil, you know, again, am I saying olive oil is a bad oil? Yes and no. I want you to be aware. I think people are overdoing things. Mm -hmm. I'd rather see you eat the olive. Yeah. I'd rather see you eat the avocado. Yeah. I'd rather see you crack a coconut open. My wife Ellen every morning has four olives. I know she's a smart girl, but we already knew that. Yeah, she picked me. I, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so in addition to these diseases that are kind of at the core of American health today, they're very uh, indicative of increases in autoimmune disorders, folks. So can you real realistically avoid these oils? I think you can. People who work with me on my healing programs, yeah. I give them a, a, a 90 to 120 day oil holiday now. 
Uh, this has been some of the great research of my mentor, Dr. Robert Marshall, that that uh, we really need to do that oil change and to free ourselves and allow ourselves to get rid of these rancid uh, PUFAs that create inflammation in the body. And there's some other little tips, tools, and techniques that my clients get. Yeah. This article I've got, uh, the next one, is called Six Sources of Healthier Fats, Omega-3 and Six Balance, and Why You Care. And this is what we're really talking about. Part of the debate about fats is the source of the fats. In prehistory days... Bingo. Uh, when everybody was hunting for meat, fish, and fowl, most people got two essentially fatty acids, which are called the omega-3 and the omega-6, mm -hmm. in almost balanced amounts. These are called essential, uh, and they were in the ratio of 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 or maybe even 1 to 4. And to, to define essential, what that means, folks, is that we need to eat them because we don't make them. Make them, Okay, right. And like Nico said, it should be one-to-one -one or small ratio difference, but we're seeing 20 to 1 in favor of the ones that cause inflammation. We yes. want to change that. And part of this reason is because oh, heavy advertising does things like let's eat your healthy grains, let's eat your corn, let's eat your beans. And these are things that in our society that we use for thousands of years, but we use them in a much different form when we were in prehistory. Well, uh, I, I want to comment here because okay. I, I'm, I'm being very open. I'm a very open person, as you know, to information. And when we see beans, grains, and corn, what we're finding is in that whole food form, mm -hmm. those fatty, those fats and so forth are not so damaging. Mm -hmm. It's when we add them in these processed forms that mm -hmm. we get into problems. Well, they're also in, uh, in seed things like beans and grains. They're also held in stasis. Mm -hmm. And what we do to them, instead of uh, having them uh, naturally progress along the line of maybe fermenting them, getting them a little bit sour, those take those toxins out. Uh, but what, what we do is actually we grind them up, which really compounds the problems. Because when you grind them up, all the bad stuff is on, uh, in, in the encasing. So you're eating that. Mm -hmm. So the best form is the sprouting form or souring them or just uh, drying them out completely and then wetting them again. It's all in the preparation. It's really in the preparation. And uh, if you look at our indigenous people who use these, if you go down to Mexico and get into the places where the, the uh, big companies haven't gotten yet and people right. are making their own food, you'll find that's, that's what they do. They'll, they'll make the tortilla and they'll leave that stuff s sit out for a night. Absolutely. Absolutely, and let it uh, air and solar dry it. Right, but if you're eating Doritos and potato chips and things like that, none of these processes are done. They're, they're processed completely different. Uh, I'm here to tell you that they process them in a bad way to make them even worse. So here's a quote from the Weston A. Price Foundation. As you folks know, I, I'm a big fan of Weston A. Price and his uh, uh, research. Actually, as Americans have increased their intake of omega-6 vegetable oils, heart disease has soared, folks. Any doctor who goes to medical school will have learned in biochemistry 101 that polyunsaturated oils contribute to cancer, heart disease, inflammation, and aging, and yet what lines the shelves? polyunsaturated fats. And you know who is one of my mentors also we've talked about for years on the show is um, Ray Peet. Yes. And Ray Peet's a big fan of saying eliminate the PUFAs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, that's not to say that... Uh, so don't get puffed up by eating poofas. <laughs> <laughs> that's not to say that if you're taking a supplement of DHA or you're using some fish oils, that may not be bad. It may be because they may be rancid. So you but really again, have to go it's to about the source. the source. It's about the source, yes. you, you You pay attention. I've got you on, you know, Premier Research has yeah. done the research on the biofield and found the body uh, really does like DHA from algae form. Yeah. And that's what I... And, and that's what the fish eat, that's what mm -hmm. the krill eat, mm -hmm. and then the fish eat the krill. Or the small so, animals, right? Right, exactly. So uh, that, that's, that's the place to get the source, mm -hmm. too. Uh, the other thing is uh, there's a little list of here of the six healthy fats. Uh, I don't know if they put it in particular order, probably maybe alphabetical. They start with avocados. Avocados is a fruit, of course. It's not a vegetable. And we know that uh, there really are no vegetable oils. I don't think there's much oil out of celery. That's it's a really a, good point. A lot of people not, aren't aware of that. Uh, Nico, let's, that bears repeating. Yeah, Avocado is not a vegetable oil. It's a fruit. Yeah, and most, uh, uh, you know, if you're taking olive oil, that's a fruit. Mm -hmm. You know, so fruit oils tend to be very good vegetable oils. Well, there aren't really any. The, these vegetable oils that they say are vegetable oils are grain oils. And I want to tell you folks, if you get an avocado, and they're coming in season here now, I mean, well, you know, they're pretty much all the time. I don't know. They're really well, more in season in the fall. Well, they're from Mexico and Chile yeah. and from But I'm uh, seeing uh, them and California. people are thinking about them. You put an avocado in a blender 
you know, take the avocado mm -hmm. meat and you put some lemon juice to sort of emulsify that mm -hmm. fat, make it easier to digest, you'll create a wonderful salad dressing mm -hmm. and you're not having a processed oil. I, I cut my avocado in half, take the pit out, and then just squeeze them onto the salad. Yes, perfect. Yeah, beautiful but I thing. mean, if you want that salad dressing look, you know what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. And then you could add those extra seasons. Yeah. So uh, olive oil, great. Uh, we, we said eat an yeah. olive like yeah. Ellen. Coconut oil, butter, MCT oil, great oils. Healthy whole fats. Yeah, and then you have the grass-fed pork lard. Yeah, we're seeing more and more that. Uh, folks that are, if you're not creating your own lard. I mean, Nico, tell them how hard is it to create your own lard? Every Sunday I uh, make bacon and uh, the lard is enough for the whole week for me. You remember when our grandmas used to have that can underneath the yeah. sink where she saved her drippings? Yeah. Grandma was smart. Mine's in the fridge. But yeah. We live in Florida. But you know, yeah. Grandma was smart. Yes, she was. Hey, you guys are smart for tuning in. And we'll of be course, right back. wild fish is the other thing, and then we have the grass fed yogurt and other things. Whole so fat. Just folks. to conclude everything here. Stick around, folks. 877 927 664. It is the phone number. We will be right back. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. Uh, you know, why do people complain not to torture others with their negativity? Do they, Paige? Uh, when most of us indulge in a little bit of a moan, the idea is to vent by getting out our emotions. We reason and then we'll feel better. But science really suggests there's a few flaws in, the uh, in, the, in that reasoning. One not only uh, does express negativity, uh, it th doesn't really tend to make us feel better. It's also catching. 
uh, making listeners feel worse. People don't, uh, well, they go on to... Have, you know what I, I always say? Yeah. Be careful what you're thinking yourselves are listening. Yeah. Be and careful they, what they you're saying yourselves are listening. They bad analogy in here. People don't break wind in elevators uh, <laughs> more than they have to because it's kind of the similar thing. I don't they call it emotion, similar to emotional farting in a closed area. It sounds like a yeah. good idea, but it's dead wrong. <laughs> this is a, a habit-forming thing, I yes. really do believe. And people who, uh, you know, my wife often uh, uh, says to me, you know, my mother was a big complainer. And uh, when Ellen and I have discussions, a lot of times she'll take the negative side of it, where I was really brought up in a real positive ho household. My father woke up every morning and said, okay, what challenges are here for me? Uh, what can I do today? And he was always that way. So yeah. I was naturally positive. I've always had that ability to when bad things happened or I did something really stupid, I would just gather myself and say, okay, what can I learn from this? And what shouldn't I be doing again? And that type of thing and analyzing that. So we have two sides of the spectrum, which really balances our life really well, where Ellen will take the negative side and I take the positive side and we hash it out and it comes out really nice. Uh, but this is, you, I think we all know people that just complain, complain and always take the negative side. And uh, it, it really is a habit. It so is. You know, we know that so much of what's going on, you know, it's like I joked, um, you know, there really is at the root of all illness are men. And it's not men as in men. Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> it's mechanical, uh -huh. it's emotional, uh -huh. and it's nutritional. Okay? okay, So these are the three areas and overwhelmingly we see that emotions are affecting our health. Um, on a site called Psychpedia, a guy named Steve Parton, an author and a student of human nature, mm -hmm. explains how complaining not only alters your brain for the worst folks, but also has serious negative repercussions for your mental health. Um, in fact, he goes on to say it can literally kill you. And I believe that um, we know that 80% of all doctor's visits are related to stress. And stress and negativity are really, I believe, kind of feed off of each other, would you say? Here are three ways he claims that complaining can, you know, impact your health. Okay. Number one, you know, it's kind of like people that play together, stay together, stay together, synapses that fire together, wire together. And we're mm -hmm. talking about the synapses in your brain. And let me just explain this, and maybe you can, um, you know, edify this a little yep. bit, Nico. Uh, throughout your brain, there's a collection of synapses that are separated by empty space called the synaptic cleft. Whenever you have a thought, <clears throat> one synapse, <coughs> excuse me, shoots a chemical across the cleft to the other synapse. And it builds a bridge over which an electrical signal can pass. That's how thoughts are transferred. It's like an electric universe. Mm -hmm. Carrying along, you just said it. Yeah, carrying, carrying along its charge, the relevant information you're thinking about. You know, that's so true. As above, so below. If you look at the universe mm -hmm. and the exchange of energy in the universe, it looks very much like that of a brain, you know? Well, take a low pressure would be the negative, and a high pressure would be a positive. Yeah, there you go. And the wind always goes to the negative, right? So really, if you boil it down on synapses that wire together, fire together, um, you know, you may have a, having a thought makes it easier for you to have that thought again, you know, repetition. That's not good news for the perpetually gloomy person. Not only do you repeat negative thoughts and make it easier to think yet more negative thoughts, they also make you more likely that negative thoughts will occur to you just randomly walking down the street. So you're going to be looking at things and you're going to be slanting everything in a negative way. Oh, look at that person. It looks, they look awesome. They look better than I do. <laughs> Instead of That's saying, when you have to be you know, the observer and you say, what kind of person would think a thought like that? Well, not only that, just to observe that, is the, it kind of stops the paradox. When exactly. you realize your own negative thinking and you realize the paradox in that, then it leaves. It's and you can the change intelligence, it. and that's, that's when you can change it. Number the second two. one, yeah, it's, uh, you are whom you hang out with, and this is really important. One of the reasons I go to jujitsu on a regular basis, kind of like going to church for me. I get there and I have positive people that are out there to help you. 
uh, good camaraderie. We always have great conversations, whether it's about food, sex, or whatever, <coughs> our home life. It's always good conversations, and it's always on the positive side. We're always trying to improve ourselves, and I think that's a huge thing. So you really need to hang out with people that think positively and stay away from the people who are negatively. I think that's there's a natural reaction. When a person starts talking ne negatively, you kind of want to just go farther and farther away from them, don't you? Exactly. And, you know, here's a quote. When we see someone experiencing an emotion such mm -hmm. as anger, sadness, or happiness, our brains try it out, that same emotion, to imagine what the other person is going through. Empathy. Yeah. yeah. And, and unfortunately, we might try it out and wear it longer than we should. Yeah. Instead of having empathy and just saying, okay, we but can But at the help. same point, yeah. if you see other persons being positive and empowering and encouraging and inspirational, what's going to happen to you? Yes, as especially if it's an honest expression. I mean, everybody can spot a phony, I think. Yeah, did but you see that post I posted yesterday? What's that? No. Uh, we'll have to read that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's it's right on that line. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. The third thing is that stress is terrible for your body and your brain, of course. Uh, when you're negative thinking, then that puts extra stress on you. And that's just, you know, another stress if you're eating those vegetable oils we were talking about in the next segment, which are the grain oils, the seed oils, uh, the canola the processed oils, ones, the yeah. processed ones. Then what happens is you've got the double whammy. You're negative thinking, you're negative in the food area too. Mm -hmm. Well, the implication of emotions uh, that reside themselves in the tissue has been studied by ancient cultures as well as quantum physicists today. Uh, you know, uh, Candace Pert's great work, The Molecule, Molecules of Emotion, is a great book. And we know that, um, you know, we've talked often on this show about how different emotions affect different organ gland systems. For instance, the liver is a place where, where anger and the gallbladder, resentment. Mm -hmm. uh, the bladder is an area where the emotion of irritation. I like to our organs because our, organ, our vital organ is vital. That says it all pretty much. Uh, the culprit really is uh, cortisol? Well, you know, you got it, Nico. Uh, the culprit is the stress hormone cortisol. And when you're negative, you release it. And elevated cortisol interferes with learning and memory. It lowers your immune system, your bone density, increases your weight. You get that muffin top. Uh, you're exhausted, it affects respiration, elevates a lot of the disease markers, and it goes on and on and on, you know. Um, ha I want to share yeah. this post. <clears throat> I saw this. I didn't make this up. Someone on a Facebook post, it was uh, Your Beautiful Life. And I, I, when I posted, I said, I do this all the time because I really do do this, and I do this with a genuine heart. But uh, here's the quote. People wonder why I give so many compliments out to strangers. I'm not being fake. I'm not looking for people to like me. But if I pass someone and I like something, I find something nice to say. I love those shoes. Great hair or wow, your eyes are beautiful. Why do I do this? Because life is hard. And people are mean. You never know how much these few words mean to someone. You never know where or the, or the difficulties they've been through. And when you put positivity out there in the universe, you yourself become a happier person. So we've got to take a break. We want you to stay happy and stay primal. So we'll see you after the break. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. 
Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. Uh, I'd like to remind you to pick up our Health Signals newsletter. Two issues a month gets you, uh, it, it costs only $10. So on the first and third Tuesday of every month, you get that. And of course, we have our Primal Edge daily supplement, and uh, please look at that. Uh, we think it's a great product. We're getting really good reviews about that. So uh, I think it's something that uh, not only you need, but you probably will like it a lot. Absolutely. <clears throat> Paige, you know, we talk often about uh, needing sleep and that stress is really bad for you, but I found a study in uh, Woman's Vibe magazine that says uh, women need more sleep because they use their brain more. So, well, uh, boy, I'm so glad you said that and not me. <laughs> I don't yeah. want anyone to think Paige is making um, sexist comments here on the air. Yeah, God forbid. Yeah, we had forbid. kind of a controversy there uh, a few months back. We were saying yeah, that so women remember, are guys, smarter than uh, Right. Than, and it was just an article to bring out a point. Yeah, we're sharing information. Thing. This was in Women's Eye by Magazine. And, um, you know, it just kind of explains why uh, women tend to require more sleep mm -hmm. to feel at their peak. Yeah, I think they multitask more is uh, one of the, the things in in the article. But uh, uh, in my house, I go to bed before my wife does. Uh, she usually reads for another hour, mm -hmm. and then I wake up about an hour earlier. So it seems like we're pretty balanced. Seven or eight hours is usually what we spend. But uh, I thought this was interesting because we're always trying to dig in and find how to tweak our own lives and yeah. how to uh, bulletproof it in a sense and uh, sleep is one of those things that uh, is very important and if you're not sleeping well then everything compounds. You know um, along with encouraging half the population to sleep more the findings may also promote new health recommendations for women at a greater <coughs> risk of heart disease, depression, and psychological problems. And this was done by a sleep expert, Michael Brewis. He uh, studied, um, which included estimating men and women's respective needs for sleep. Mm -hmm. He evaluated things, their capacity to deal with insufficient rest. Yeah, one of the major functions of sleep is to allow the brain to recover and repair itself. Mm -hmm. During the deep sleep cycle, the cortex, the part of the brain that is responsible for thought, memory and language and so on disengages from the senses and goes into a recovery mode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they did a study, but what's implied here is that men would also need more sleep, providing they use their brains more during the day. A man who has a complex job mm -hmm. that involves a lot of decision making and lateral thinking may also need more sleep than the average male, though probably still not as much as a woman. 
Well, I, when I look at this in the pribal context, and that's the way I always try to bring things back, because it's important to me to understand. So if we were living in a primal situation, we'd be in a tribe, and the men would probably go out hunting and fishing. One goal is just to go out and hunt, where women are kind of multitasking. They're, they're, they're directing the children. They're fixing food. They're doing, uh, you know, the different types of chores that would be needed for people who are staying in the village. I, I think you're right on there. But and you're always right on. But well, I agree. I, I agree. I think that. that this multitasking is what creates the stress that women either have or even or feel. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to juggle it all. Yeah. The study undertaken by Brown and his colleagues launched a number of scientific inquiries into the health outcomes of sleep deprivations. Uh, one of the studies uh, associated, associated poor sleeping habits with an increase of psychological problems, heart disease, blood clot, and stroke. And it showed inadequate rest and accelerated skin aging in a paper published earlier this year. So ladies, climb back in. I like the way this girl looks on the telestrator. Yeah. You know, there's some days that you just want to snuggle in and stay and don't feel guilty about sleep. Yeah, today it's known for sure that 80% of American adults get less sleep than a recommended daily dose between 7 and 9 hours of every day. You can learn more about sleep and improve your rest habits if you visit the National Sleep Foundation's Ondor Resources, and I'll have that in my next yeah, newsletter. Yeah, the National Sleep Foundation, folks. Maybe we should all do it. You know, we really do. Uh, sleep is a third of our life, so we certainly should. That is, that is an amazing thing when you really think about it, that, uh, you know, we're always, it seems like, so jammed uh, for time and that we spend actually a, a third. Uh, no, no wonder people in uh, modern age kind of resist sleep, you know, because we have the TV on, uh, disrupts our natural cycles, all this different light that we have. Uh, it's, and we need, you know, we have more stress, too. I think there was stress in primal days in living in a village, but certainly not the compounded stress from the politics and from uh, the advertising and from, you know, being slaves because we have to go to these minimal jobs that you may not be interested in because you have to sur survive. You know, in the old days, surviving meant you go and look for food and you have shelter and pretty much, you know, you're good to go. These days, we, it's a lot more difficult. We're, we're made into society. This is where you have to fit in, and this is, you know, it's it, our natural instinct, I think, is, is to fit in, but our natural instinct also is to go out and be unique. I, something just popped into my, okay. my thought process when you said that. You know, there's something about feeling guilty for sleeping, as if you're wasting time. That'd be the negative thing that we were talking about. Yeah, the there, there you go. But, I mean, there's this connotation. That I think some people feel like, oh, geez, gosh, I've, you know, I feel guilty about sleep. But I think we need to remove that. As we said, this is the restorative period mm -hmm. of our life. And it is one-third of our life, and it's very important. And it's really the time at which we really kind of go back into our meditative state. Mm -hmm. I've been studying yoga nidra. Uh -huh. And yoga nidra, nidra is really sleep yoga or meditation in sleep mm -hmm. which is when we actually reconnect with our creator source when we're in this state so why in the world would we want to cut that short yeah. why in the world would well, we want uh, to feel guilty about yeah, doing that i have a little ritual that i do uh to get myself into that sleep mode mm -hmm. uh, do you have a little ritual oh, yes. kind of thing well, yeah. you want to share well, this or well I want to hear yours first, and okay. then I'll share mine. But okay. uh, I know that you've told me about the the darkened curtains. Don't you guys have room darkening curtains? Yeah, well, it's, they're actually bah Bahama shutters. Oh, so we just yeah. close them up. Uh, yeah, and that starts as soon as after dinner. We close everything up, and the only lights that are really on are our uh, Himalayan yes. salt lamps. Yes, you change nice the and lighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we tend to turn the TV off about an hour before we were planning to go to bed. A lot of times I will take a sauna, because a good time to take a sauna is right when you get up or right when you go to sleep. Anything to, to move you, you into that realm yeah. of We removing. also have a nice incense. Yes. I also have a little lavender by my bed, so I put that on my chest a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a, it, you know, rituals are kind of nice. It uh, eases you into what you're going to be doing next, and it's a nice transition for us. The smell of the incense burning, because we, we put that on about 15 minutes before we go into that bedroom. Olfaction, yeah, or and, smelling, yeah. evokes memory. Yeah, and we and also cool thoughts. down the room. You do everything that I do. Oh. Yes, I got Himalayan salt lamps. Uh, I have a little more trouble getting the light control, and I'm very sensitive. We have this big, <laughs> we have a thermostat that's computerized, mm -hmm. and 
I'm constantly trying. I need to go and see if I can get a flap that flaps over it, but it seems to mess it up. It glows too much? Yeah, it glows. It, but see, if I do, if I put something over it, it messes up the thermostat. Oh. So <clears throat> it wasn't a good design, and I'm very sensitive to the light. But um, well, can't yeah, these... you just cover up the light? Just the light itself? Well, I don't know. Every time I keep doing it, we wake up in the middle of the night, and the temperature is is all mismanaged. Yeah. It's like it drops really low down to 67 or something because I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. probably need to research that. Okay. But all of these <clears throat> nighttime rituals, folks, are important. Whatever you need to do to put yourself into that state, knowing that your sleep is the time that you heal, restore, and reconnect. And reconnecting is very important. Yeah, because if you actually don't get enough sleep, then you're uh, hitting that uh, cortisol again, uh, and uh, you're asking your stress. Stimulating the stress hormone. Just don't feel good all day. All your organs are, uh, you know, trying to recover. They don't recover, and that's how you get into a bad state. So, You know, speaking of the ceremony of sleeping, let's stay tuned. We'll be right back, and we're going to talk about the ceremony of bleeding. We've been wanting to chat on this. And uh, the uh, Earth Medicine will be right back. Give us a call. Join in on the conversation. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com Educating Investors. Join John Logan as he teaches you trading techniques utilizing the TAS Profile Scanner, the Global Market Pulse, next on TFNN. Welcome back to the show, folks. Uh, we're going to be talking about this subject. Uh, most people don't talk about it. Our society kind we of... We talk about a lot of stuff people don't talk yeah, about. <laughs> this is uh, the ceremony of bleeding. I think it's very important because... Uh, I think it just adds to stress when things are hidden. And in our society, we hide sex. Uh, we hide this very, very important... We feel guilty about of, sleeping. Yeah, feel guilty about sleeping. Uh, this is, of course, the min menstrual cycle that happens when they, uh, the girls are 11 to 13 or 
it's or a, it's, it's, uh, I think it's getting it's a earlier. change in role. Yeah. The change in role, a huge important thing. And the ceremony of bleeding is going through, because of the cultures of our uh, ancestors, they uh, really separated the women into a nice little clan to, do, to introduce the women into this whole thing of what's happening to their body and to educate them about, I would assume, birth control, about uh, how to have a baby, where babies come from, it what's happening. It's a support structure. It's a support structure. You know, in Western culture, <laughs> our women do not have the societal right to hold menstrual traditions while functioning in society. Mm -hmm. Whereas in many cultures, women have the foundation of cultural heritage to remove themselves mm -hmm. for this ceremony of bleeding. Our women simply go to work, business as usual, yeah. and run around feeling guilty for it yeah. or ashamed of it. Well, it, it also transfers to the, the men because, uh, you know, I was uh, pulled aside about, uh, I think I was 11, 12 years old when my dad had to talk with me. I think uh, it would be really nice if the whole family had to talk. I think that's what uh, happened in our society in uh, prehistory. Uh, you know, it's kind of, it's a private conversation. My dad had made it really beautiful how he did it. Mm -hmm. Of course, I had my own concepts even before that time, so right. maybe he was a little bit late. Uh, and we have all these concepts about sex. I knew very little about sex, not until I was in my 20s that I really get it about the, the difference between the men and the women emotionally. Sure, I knew the physical stuff because I was groping girls from the time I could reach them, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just what guys well, do. Well, you know, that's, that's our nature. And, yeah. you know, how many women in our society are fully aware of the four-phase cycle that occurs each month? Exactly. I mean, again, the these, these synchronicity of the female fertility and the lunar. Many of you that work with me know that I use, uh, for natural hormone balancing, I use a lunar chronobiology mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful thing and most women appreciate it and then they feel like I understand the way my body works you know has, has our society made it possible to at least educate our girls so that they are aware of their own fertility and bleeding schedule and all the natural forces yeah. that it entails I don't think so no, and I remember in high school when uh, you, uh, you knew that the girl was on her period or something like that we all made stupid little jokes picked on them those kind of things shamed them in many instances so our society is really on the wrong track when we're talking about sex when we're talking about body to leave functions in any form mm -hmm. we make fun of everything Somebody blows winds in the, you know, in the elevator, you know, that type of thing. It's always ridiculed. This is the negative part of our society. And there are so many beautiful examples of, uh, and in this article really explains this. This is going to be in, the, in the, one of the newsletters coming up. Yes, but they actually in ancient read. times had a special lodge for this where the women would go. And, of course, in childbirth, this is kind of leading up to childbirth for, uh, you know, uh, the indigenous people immediately. Because as soon as you become, can become pregnant, in the old days, maybe you did become pregnant. Because uh, girls were mothers a lot earlier. There was, no, days, there was no shame because they saw this rite of passage of fertility as a signal from nature that it's time to have a baby. And not only that, we wanted to, uh, you know, uh, expand our clan. That oh, was, sure. That's, that's primal right there. We want to want to have children. We want to cultivate them. And I don't think we had as many children, too. So, you know, uh, a lot of things to learn from our primal ancestors, ancestors, not only about having your period for women, but also how men become of age and the understanding between men and women as they grow up, I think, is a huge thing because I think there's a disconnect in our modern society. You know, the, the so lost we'll, we'll art of tribal more. culture, but that's what we're about. Living primal is returning to the primary most important thing. Yeah, the most important thing us. is that you tune in with us next time. Yeah. Thanks a lot for sticking around. See you next us. time. See you next time. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers
subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.